and welcome. I'm Akram Tagavy Birth, and you're watching Akram's Ideas, bringing creative and crazy ideas to light. I thought I'd share with you all the last bits and bobs of fabric that I picked up here and there over the last month or so. Theoretically, hopefully, it is the last fabric haul of 2019. So these fabrics all came locally here in Tulsa at various antique stores, uh, some that I frequent quite often and some uh, that are up on the north side of Tulsa that I don't go to all that often, but on a whim we decided to go to and they had some fabric. So all the antique stores will be listed in the description below. I have since just tossed everything in a big box so I don't know which store these fabrics came from and they never have the same thing twice so uh, it doesn't really matter. So let's just dive into it. The first thing I want to mention is this fabric here and it is a rubber duck print as you can see. But this is, and I want to say it's about three yards if I'm not mistaken, but it is waterproof fabric. So I am thinking, I, I'm pretty sure the print and everything, it was made for like, like a baby changing table or a baby bag or something that you knew was going to get wet often. Uh, but I'm thinking that this uh, rubber duck print would be beautiful for a raincoat if I have enough of it. So I could do a little, uh, just a little rain blazer, something cute and um, just something cute and frilly, I guess. It's just totally whimsical. Um, nothing that I might wear, well, I probably wear it to work, but um, nothing practical, I should say. And I've never actually worked with waterproof fabric. Um, it does feel a little vinyl-y, so I don't know how that's going to work. I'd love to hear any tips you guys have with working with this type of fabric in the comments below. But again, just little rubber ducks. So this one was just kind of random on a whim as well. This is some fabric here. And as you can see, it has stripes and little pink polka dots. But as we move down the line, it is a border print with a ruffle already on it. So this is really cute. I don't recall how much is here. I want to say two yards. If I can't get a full dress out of this, I think I'll do like a, um, what do you call it? Just a skirt. But I would like to do like um, the Gertie dress, like the day and night dress maybe that's with a sleeveless version or even I don't know if there's enough here for like the popover dress but I was thinking like a Gertie dress of some kind with this fabric so this one was only about a yard or so and I wasn't going to buy this little piece until I found a second piece so I actually have two yards of this um so I'm thinking maybe an autumn blouse with this fabric. It's just, it's got such beautiful uh, pinks and purples on sort of a dark uh, chocolatey brown background. So I'm excited about that. Now this pile is interesting because I wasn't going to get it. I think it was like three bucks for the pile or something like that. And it's just little off cuts of fabric, mostly um, for like quilting. But my husband saw it and was like, you don't want that little piece there. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? And he's like, that would be the perfect little handbag for a picnic. And he talked me into it. So I thought that that, that was a brilliant idea. So there's that fabric, but there is also uh, this nice little canvas and this is even nice uh, for a handbag as well just the perfect size for it so there's also some of this is it called minky minky with the little dots it's not very much but oh is it soft there's not very much I might just sew it together and make myself like a little winter scarf oh look at that <laughs> it is so soft I don't want to get makeup on it though but it is a very soft fabric yeah I might just sew it up so that there's no raw edges and make a little scarf out of it. Might be fun. Alright, so while 
this was really not that far away when you think about it now, but when I bought these, um, Christmas was way far thinking, but it was a big stash of Christmas fabric. And most of these, I would say, are about half a yard's worth, so I could do some interesting gifts. One of the things that I like to do is sort of make like bags and totes um, out of Christmas fabric and use that as the, the bag for the gifting. Um, but some of these are really nice, like this one's got a really nice print to it. And you know, I could make this into say like say a top and then wear it with a hunter green skirt or even a navy blue skirt. So that's got a really nice print. I think there's at least two or three yards of this uh, Christmas check here. Uh, another one that's got a really fun print that I think would be fun to do something with, if you can see. Um, there's one that has penguins on it. This would be a fun bag. There's the Christmas tree print. Um, and then some angels. And this one is one with Santa. I think this would make a really lovely purse, actually. That would be like a very nice Christmas purse. And oddly enough, I feel like I have similarish ornament fabric already in my sash of this. But like I said, they're not huge amounts. Some of them I might be able to get a top out of, but the majority of these I'll probably use as little tote gift bags um, for the holidays. So that's, that's the plan anyways. And uh, that's why I got it. And the whole the whole bundle was like maybe four bucks for the whole bundle. So that was actually not a bad deal. All right, so we're moving on into another stash of fabric. Now these particular fabrics here came from a store. Is the tag still in here? This came from, yes, Home Accents, which again, I'll put the information in the description below. So Home Accents is on the north side of town. Um, and so we don't usually go up that way often, uh, but I knew that they had a room full of fabric because I'd been there once before, and their fabric is not as cheap as I usually like to get it. However, they typically do like a 25% off on top of, you know, the already thrifted discount price of fabric, and they have some really nice prints. So this, for example, is a beautiful print here. And I really like this. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. There's not a whole lot there. I think it would make a really lovely um, charmeuse dress. Charmeuse dress? Am I pronouncing that right? From the Gertie's Sews Jiffy book. Um, it might also be really nice as a day and night dress uh, or a night and day dress from the Gertie's Charm Patterns. To see more episodes like this, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to Akram's Ideas, and hit the bell icon to get notified of new episodes. I'm not sure, but I really, really like it. Um, I don't think there's enough there to do like the, a fuller skirt. That's why the charmeuse dress sounds like it might be a better fit for it. Um, but maybe I could just do a skirt? I don't know. So the next fabric, this is also holiday fabric, and this is, does it have anything on the salvage here? This is Kimberly Montgomery print, and it's like Christmas trees and um, ornaments and stars, and what I really love about this fabric is it's, well first off it's kind of got the stripe going on, and it's really decorative and really fun and bright and poppy, which is unusual for Christmas colors because usually Christmas colors are more deeper tones, but this one has all that yellow in there. And from a distance, it almost looks like spring colors to me. And it's, it doesn't scream Christmas until you get up really close and then you can see the little Christmas trees and ornaments and things like that. I think it would be a super fun gathered skirt. And then you could uh, mix and match the top with any one of these colors. You could wear a green top, a red top, a black top. You could really uh, play up on this skirt. So this was going to be a gathered skirt of some kind. Um, I had a bunch of chambray 
in my stash a while back and then I made some skirts unfortunately those skirts are too big for me now so I'm on the hunt for some more chambray this is not exactly chambray but it is chambray colored this is more of a linen-y type fabric but I think it would be lovely um, it's all sorts of things um, there's a good amount here I'm gonna say about three yards if not four and I'm thinking maybe some slacks maybe a blazer of some kind I don't know but it's a really nice fabric it's a really thin fabric so if I do make slacks I don't know if I'm gonna need to line it I might I might have to line it I can't tell um, I really prefer not to line pants but I think it would be really nice as some slacks along the same lines of that last fabric there's this one this is more of a cotton uh, but it's got that same color tone that looks kind of like a light chambray a light denim um, so it's this fabric here this one actually might be better for slacks because it's a little bit more opaque but I don't know if you can tell but it's got more white in it so it more looks like a brush stroke of white on that fabric um, Oh, there is a little stain here. I haven't washed these yet, so hopefully that'll wash out when I when I do wash these. Uh, what do we got left? Okay. So these were two-yard bundles, and most everything in the stores comes in like two-yard bundles at least. So this one is sort of a dotted swith, I guess you could say, because it's got the little dots on there, and they're kind of bubbledy. Um it is very sheer dun, dun, dun. but it's uh, two yards of this it's not very wide it feels like but maybe it is standard width but they had another little two yards sam sampling of it so I've got four yards in total but again I don't think it's very wide but it would make a lovely overlay dress I've got simplicity I don't remember the number of it, but that's a simplicity pattern that was out not too long ago. I think it came out last Christmas where it's sort of a sheer dress on top of a slip dress. This might be fun to do. It is very um, spring green, so this wouldn't be high priority. This would be more of a spring dress. And speaking of spring, um, there's also this. Uh, which is just I, I adore this print this is uh, it says on it true vintage and I wouldn't be surprised because the print on this is just lovely look at that so this is sort of a again sort of a spring minty green with these pink and yellow flowers on it it also has this little crinkly uh, feel to it I think it may be a sea sucker fabric um, I've got four yards so I got one bundle and then I got another bundle of it over here and I think some sort of summer dress would be amazing in this fabric um, I'm not sure I might do like the Coco Waha crafts raspberry um, or maybe just maybe just a popover dress if I have enough I could do the popover dress and then do some shearing on it mmm the popover dress might be fun to do I don't know all right so there's wait there's more um, because there's always more right uh, so this is another bag of fabric that I have down here and the first big thing was this um, felt fleece felt I think it's it's a cross between a felt and a fleece it feels like a blanket but there's quite a bit here there's royally blue I'm going to make a traditional poodle skirt so I'm gonna make some sort of circle skirt with some sort of little decoration on it I'm not really sure what decoration I want to put on it um, so I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts and ideas uh, but this is going to be some sort of fun circle skirt I also got in the same breath of that the same type of ish fabric this one's not quite the same or is it this one's a little thinner than that one but it's kind of a deep green this one is specifically for winter I plan on making a bunch of little sweaters out of this it is so cozy soft I'm not sure like we all know that I love the toaster sweater but I've got a bunch of those now so I want to think if whether I want to make maybe an Astoria um, 
or or so I also have the South Bank sweater from Nina Lee patterns which I've never made so this would be a beautiful South Bank but now I'm debating do I make just a sweater top or do I make the dress because I actually have enough I could make the dress but maybe that would be too much for this fabric. I don't know. So this is def definitely going to be a sweater um, of some kind in that fabric. So this one is, um, this one, it still has the tag, it was only $2.50. And this is sort of a satiny fabric. It's a tan color, like that. I don't know what I really want to do with this. I think one it would make a really good like shell top or a shell even dress to go with something else i'm thinking more of a shell top and with that said i also found this fabric which is this deeper brown which would be amazing paired together if you see them together you can see um so i could do this with this and I could do I don't have a whole lot here but I'm thinking slacks and then this as some sort of top but I don't know if I want to make this as a, a blouse with buttons or if I just want to make it a sort of a shell top um, or just a blouse top without buttons and then just do the slacks I'm not sure I haven't decided yet another fun fabric for winter is this uh, sweatshirting fabric. This is sweatshirting fabric. It's pink. Um, it's cozy as well. I could just do a sweatshirt of some kind. I've got enough here. I could probably do a dress, but again, I'm not really sure. I do have like the Heather dress from Sew Over It, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, there's that sweatshirt a pattern from itch to stitch might do that one uh, I don't know I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments below make me a suggestion I probably have that pattern or have a pattern similar to that all right we're down at the bottom of the barrel now this is the last little one this is a flannel and it's just this pretty little floral print right here so nothing fancy I'm not sure it's a flannel so I'm not sure what I would make out of it I could just make some sort of nice little warm top out of it to be wear worn with slacks like maybe like a sweatery top or just a long sleeve top like a gable top and just have it be a warmer top for the winter time I could potentially make it into some sort of like pajama set like a shorts pajama set where it'd be so warm but not because I tend to get hot anyway, so shorts in the winter wouldn't be too bad going to bed. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's not a whole lot, probably a yard and a half. So whatever it is, it can't be can't be a whole lot. So that was my last fabric haul. Uh, hopefully the last fabric haul of the year because. I don't have no more room for fabric really but I'm excited about these I uh, again don't have any immediate plans uh, because my schedule as you know is so busy but um, I'd love to hear in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions and ideas of what I should make specifically with any of the fabrics um, that I've shared with you today I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Akam's Ideas and thanks for watching call it like home accents or something like that but I don't think that's right um let me do that all over again this is kind of like a dotted swift <laughs> ah okay sold it upside down that's all upside down ah, this is